beautiful beaters. It's Gina from OrkedandOpal.com, and I'm doing kind of a spur of the moment video today. A lot of you have asked me about packaging and specifically how to package your jewelry that you've sold to ship. And I'm just going to show you real quick how I do that process. At the moment, I may change my process over time. I already have kind of tweaked it a bit. But uh, I really encourage you just to use these ideas. Uh, don't use these specific colors. Everything that you're seeing here is kind of specific to what I do for Orchid and Opal. But I just want to stress how important it is for you to kind of find your own identity and your own brand and to do what works for you and your price range and your style. You want people to open up your packaging and know that it is from your brand if that's what you're trying to establish. But I've come up with a system that works for me. This is going to be packaging a set of jewelry for less than a dollar, which is awesome. I definitely like to keep my jewelry cost reasonable and not pass along a bunch of extra cost to the consumer. And I also want my packaging to look unique, stylish, and special. So Dollar Tree is really my friend when it comes to packaging. As you can see, this box is actually from the Dollar Tree. It's a really nice little gift box. And if you have a Dollar Tree in your location, you could find these probably. These are a pack of three different gift boxes. They're white embossed gift boxes. They're actually really nice. They come in different sizes. And I'm using this size here, which is about a three and three quarters by five and a half today. And it just so happens I have a set of jewelry to ship out. So I figured I'd go ahead and just let you guys kind of see the process. So inside I have the necklace that I am getting ready to ship. I have tucked the chain behind this little padding that comes with the box. Each box comes with the little padding. It is kind of thin, but it still definitely works. And it's definitely a great price at 33 cents a box is what it comes out to. Then I have a set of earrings that went with the necklace. And I'm gonna take this out real quick so you can just take a look. These cards I've shown you before, but you can get them on Amazon. I will leave links to what I can down below the video in the information section if you're curious. But uh, these are actually just like gift tags and I use a 1 16th inch hole punch that I also got on Amazon to punch these little holes in the tops of the tags that are perfect for earrings. On the back, I use these little stoppers so they're not gonna go anywhere. I got a nice size bag of those off of eBay for a very reasonable price quite a few months ago. If I find a link to those, I will leave that down below as well. And then just for an extra layer of protection in the box, I go ahead and put my earrings in a, another plastic bag, which we're talking costs pennies. This is like a three by four inch little plastic bag. And then I just kind of fold the side over so it's not moving around too much and put that right on the top. Now, because this little felt pad is kind of thin inside, I do add a little bit of tissue paper on top of this so that when I do close the box, the jewelry isn't sliding around too much. So this is just basic white tissue paper. And again, Dollar Tree, you can find this in packs of 35 for just a dollar. So we're talking like three cents a sheet. So just folded that up perfectly to fit inside the box and just kind of tucking it in so that my jewelry isn't go, gonna go sliding around everywhere. Then something I do to kind of personalize the box is way back when I had purchased a self-inking stamp on vistaprint.com. This is my logo that I created myself on my computer and I was able to upload it to vistaprint.com. That's something you'd be able to do if you're interested. I've found that it's a lot more cost effective than buying sheets of labels or continuing to print out labels. It just works for me. This has lasted forever and it's still very saturated. The whole point is I just want that graphic, the orchid, the handmade Richmond, Virginia to show up on the top of the box because nobody's gonna sit there and look at it too long, but if they look at this, they know, okay, that's from Orchid and Opal, and it just makes the box a little bit more special than just a plain white box. So I'm gonna close that up. The other thing I like to do is always, always include a personalized note from me, and here again, Dollar Tree has a great selection of note cards. These are the ones that I love to use. They just kind of reflect my personal style, and I think they're so cute. 
but they sell different designs. There's packs of six note cards, which they end up coming to about 17 cents per card. And I just write a personalized thank you note expressing my thanks for the customer's purchase because I think that's so important when it comes to a handmade small business that you really show your appreciation that way. So I have my card all filled out and tucked in here. And then on the front of it, I have handwritten the customer's name. And once again, I do want to stress, find your personal style because that's what's going to make it special for customers. And it's going to make them really excited to get something from you and they can identify it as your brand. So this is the card that I have. And so pretty much this is what's going to go inside the bubble mailer. Now the bubble mailer that I use is also something that's kind of a uh, little bit extra than just your basic yellow bubble mailer, which would be totally fine as well. But I just decided to get these purple mailers because they kind of fit my brand. And also I find that, you know, when the customer goes to the mailbox and sees that purple bubble mailer, they're going to be really excited and even more excited to open up their shipment. So these are a six by 10 inch size, which ends up fitting these gift boxes perfectly. I find you could even do two of those long bracelet boxes side by side. Those will both fit in here. The uh, box I'm using today fits very well. As you can see, I'm just going to slide it right in here. And then I would just include a receipt or a packing slip and maybe just stick a little bit of tissue paper on either side just so it has an extra little layer of padding. But these bubble mailers were not that expensive. They come out to be about 34 cents each. I got a 25 pack on Amazon for between eight and nine dollars. Again, I'll leave you that link below. So for everything that you see here, it comes out to less than a dollar. You have your box, you have your tissue paper, you have your card, the bubble mailer, and that doesn't include the cost of the stamp because over time I'm going to be using that hundreds of times and it's a few cents. You have your earring card and the little plastic bag that went inside. And for just a dollar, you can really come up with a stylish way to package and ship your jewelry. It doesn't have to be that complicated. It's really not that hard. Just find a style that works for you and find a system that works for you. Try to source items that are easy for you to get and replenish if you need to. One other thing I want to mention before I let you go is that another item that I got on vistaprint.com that I love are these personalized labels. And I already said that I love to use that stamp, but once in a while I do love to use one of these personalized labels because they have that little pop of purple on them. So sometimes if there is an extra large order or a pricier order, I will go ahead and use one of these labels. They do end up costing me about 17 cents each, but I think they're so cute. So once in a while, I will affix them on the outside of the package, just as another personal customization. Not only are you gonna be even more excited to ship out your handmade jewelry, but your customer is gonna be even more excited to receive it because the details are where it's at. You really wanna pay attention to those details. So I hope this provided you with some helpful information and answered your questions on how I decide to package and ship my jewelry. Please let me know down below if you have any questions or comments. I'd love to hear from you. I will definitely be back soon with more tutorials, jewelry subscription unboxings, and finished jewelry updates. Hope you guys have an absolutely wonderful day and as always, happy beading. If you enjoyed this video, I'd love you to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell if you'd like to see more of my videos. And check out the video description section to follow along on all of my social media handles and check out my new website and blog at orchidandopal.com. Thanks for watching!